Okay, we've got a, an application, or actually quite a few applications, on the controller. And what we're going to go over right now is how to access these applications and um, how to get through the menu. So, at the beginning of the menu, at, at the highest level of the menu, you have the uh, these options showing. The application manager, the task manager, control panel, calibration, and event logger. And all we're going to cover today is the uh, application manager. So to go a, a, to a deeper level, we have two options. We can either hit the enter key here, and that will take us down a level. And if we hit the enter key again, it'll take us down another level. But that'll only go so far because once you have an option with a plus in front of it, it means you've got to drill down using the arrows. And that'll take you down a level. Okay, so you can drill down and drill back up with the, uh, the arrow keys. Okay, and another way to get back is just to hit escape and that will take you up a level back to the main menu if you want to go there. So this is one of the first things you need to get used to is the way you move around in the application manager. I like using the arrow keys because I know they're consistently going to work for me. So to load an application, you would just drill down to the application level. Um, and by the way, there's a, there's a keyboard here, keypad here, and if you want to do a shift, you have to press this key and that will allow you to use the numbers and everything on the upper right of the key your um, parentheses colon question marks stuff like that so if that lights lit then that means you're in shift mode <clears throat> this is how you move the arm to, to different positions and right now I've got it parked in the uh, in the teach pennant holder and ordinarily when it's parked you can enable the drives and I'll show you how to move the arm around a little bit doing that um, but the first thing you gotta do is pull it out and push it back in and then you can put it in drive mode and when you're in this mode here uh, you have the option of going to joint mode frame mode tool mode or point mode um, right now we're going to go to joint mode just to quickly see how you, how you move around, how you move the arm around. And so if we have it in joint mode, then every movement that we do is tied to these numbers. This is joint number one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that's from base to tip. So if we move in number one, we move back and forth because that's joint one. This is joint two. This is joint three, four, five, and six, which you can't see because it's actually rotating this way back and forth. Okay, so that's a tool rotation around uh, the tool Z axis, which is the axis is this way, but the rotation is this way. If we put it in another mode called frame mode, then we can move things in the XY position. So our movement possibilities are X, Y, Z, a rotation around X, a rotation around Y, and a rotation around Z. And so if I move in the X direction, the arm moves from center to front, or from back to front. If I hit Y, it moves this way. And of course, if I hit Z, it moves this way. And I can also do rotations around those different axes, and we'll do that later. Um, what we're going to do right now, though, is we're going to go to point mode and after we load an application. So to load our application, we're going to escape back out to the application manager and go in here. And we're going to find a program called Lime. Um, and it's called Lime because we were using it to pick up a Lime at one time. It's got four points programmed into it. So once I found that, I hit OK. And now I've got the program loaded. 
and I can I can do some things with it like set points and everything when I'm in at this point so in order to set points we just go down here to the point button and this is going to be relative to the flange we didn't we don't have a tool loaded in here if we did we'd have an option for a tool to pick too but we're just doing every, everything relative to the flange here so I'm just going to hit OK accept that and so here's our four points in the program and these four points represent a approach for pickup um, a pickup and a approach for drop and a drop point and we're using on any other robot the one with the pneumatic gripper on it we're just using it to pick things up and move them back and forth so I've loaded that program onto this robot um, and in Stably and Val3 they call these applications and programs are something else we'll, and we'll get to that later so the first thing I want to do is see where point one is and so if I've got it highlighted I use my up and down arrows to highlight the points and if I've got that done I can go to the point and see that that's my point right there and if I want to go to the next point I can see that's the point that's the pickup point and if I want to go to the next point I can do this and the last point I can do this all right, now one thing I want to do is in each of these points I want to set I want, I want to align the robot and so one way we can do this because right now that this flange is not parallel to the table and I want it to be so we can actually take care of that in a mode called alignment mode so let's move to alignment mode we just hit the mode button right here and right now we're in line mode but we want to go to align mode so if we do that, if you watch the tool, you'll watch it straighten out when I hit that. So now that we've got the tool aligned now, let's go ahead and save that. And to do that, all we really have to do is go back to um, our joint mode so we can see our point. And we're going to reset point one to this new alignment position. So we're just going to hit here, and that will save that position. That's going to tell us uh, this is the current coordinates. We're going to hit OK, and then we're done with that. So let's do the same thing. Let's do an alignment for joint number two. So we're going to go back to alignment mode. And we could have done this at the beginning of the, of the whole programming phase or the point setting phase and saved ourselves some trouble. But this is a good opportunity to show you how this works. So now that I'm here, I'm going to hit uh, line. I've just aligned the joint. And now I'm going to go back to uh, my joint position and I'm going to save that by hitting here because that I wanted to save that here position hit OK and we're going to do this for each particular point so I've gone there going back to align aligning it going back to XYZ mode here OK last one is X4 we're going to go to that point. So you can tell it's crooked right there, so we're going to go back to a line and align it. Go back to joint mode. Hit here and save it. And if we hit save, we'll save those settings. So now we've got the robot aligned and we got some points set. We've actually went through the process of setting points. All right. So if I want to I'm set a point here that's someplace else, I'm going to put the robot in frame mode first. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go over in that direction. And if I wanted to set point four to that new setting, all I'd have to do is hit here, and that would be my current position for point four. But we're not going to do that right now. We want to keep the points that we got. So let's go ahead and set the robot up to run what we have here. So I'm going to escape out to this point where I've got my program name highlighted. And I'm going to put the robot in, right now it's in program mode. This little light here tells us it's in program mode. And we want to put it in automatic mode over here. And we do that with our controller. We have another um, selection box, a little box that lets us select the modes from there. So I'm going to go around and set that. Okay, so 
so I'm now in automatic mode and the, the system noticed that I changed that and so it's it's telling me that um, it noticed that I had changed the mode now we've already got the thing loaded and we want to apply power for one thing and we want to hit run okay and it's telling me that uh, an application is already running we had already loaded this at one time to run so what I'm going to do is tell it to stop first so I can show you how stop works hit the stop button acknowledge that it's saying that the application will be stopped so I'm going to go ahead and stop it um, and it's telling me that everything's been canceled okay so now I'm going to go back and hit run and it's telling me that um, you know, give me the choice to verify that's what I want to run I'm going to hit OK now it doesn't run yet until I hit the move button so I'm going to go ahead and hit the move button and so it'll start doing its thing now if I want to pause it all I have to do is hit this button again and that will pause it and I can start it up again by just hitting the button again so this is this comes in handy if you want to be able to stop it um, or pause it while you're working on something um, if I slow it down it's a little bit easier to pause it anywhere I want to and I slowed it down by hitting the plus and minus buttons right now I'm at 25 percent and if I hit this button I can go up to 100 percent or I can go all the way down to some really slow amount like five percent let's say and it'll just operate at five percent normal speed okay now if I want to stop it and I hit the stop button it will give me a chance to either cancel this stop or hit OK to, to completely stop it and so typically if I wanted to stop it I just hit OK but I'm not going to stop it right now so I can start and stop this program it or hold it and move it it will by pressing the little blinking blue so this should be enough to at least get you started on how to set points and everything make sure you're in program mode light on over here and make sure your drive is on when you're in either mode so that you can actually move the arm around you can't move the arm around unless this drive button is activated if that's not activated then nothing works you can't move the arm anywhere and it'll tell you um, you know this is jog move is impossible right now um, and, I, and, and anytime you got a message on the screen here you have to acknowledge it by hitting F8 typically now from this menu I can also drill down into what's contained in this program that I've got here so typically where you're going to want to go is look at like your global data and so my global data here is going to show me um, my flange settings I can I can under flange settings I can put tools under the flange menu I can put tools in there and the dimensions of those tools so the program takes those into consideration I can go here and look at uh, joints, joint angles, my joint variables, there they are. Um, so there's all kinds of things you can drill down and look at. You know, I've got some, uh, um, M, M description is right now, it's got a setting for nominal speed. Um, Booleans are yes, no, true, false. This program contains some um, Boolean variables. Um, we also have, of course, number variables and I mean, we have one called delay and we have one uh, we have one called X um, and you can have analog input output data and you can have digital input output data and we have some digital input outputs because this program was originally written to run some suction uh, a suction gripper and to move a cylinder in and out so there's all your variables are here and if you've got a negative sign in front of them, you can collapse these menus down so that you just see um, the categories. Okay, so now if I want to go down to programs, I can look at the actual program if I want. I can go here. And right now we've got this program contained in start. And that's not really the proper place to put it. But we just did this to simplify programming at the beginning. Typically what we're going to do is put our program in, create a task with our program. If we're going to move the arm back and forth, we want that in a task. We can call that task or we can kill the task. 
um, and we'll get into that later how that works. So I'm going to go into the uh, start here and we're going to look at um, the actual program. If I'm on start, I can hit edit and it starts to show me parts of the program. The reason it's not showing me the whole thing is I have to take this do loop that I've got set up and expand it out and so now you can see the program itself we can move through this and some things in the program are commented out the two slash marks in front of anything means that we're commenting it out um, this language is a lot like C it's sort of a combination of C and basic and we're going to get into the language a little bit more later so here's the actual program Okay, so that's all we're going to cover today.